We're here with a very busy, but nice enough to take a couple minutes. Marcus Simeon with us. Marcus, how are you? I'm good. So good. What'd you do in the off season? Anything fun? Um, yeah, I went to a couple weddings. A lot of my friends are starting to get married now, um, but mostly we just, uh, my wife and I, raised our two boys. We got two young young boys and. It's been fun watching them grow. How old's your uh, oldest? I, I've got a 10-year-old in Little League. I always try to place it. He's two and a half okay, right so now. You're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> so he's he's always got a bat in his hand, but not quite Little League or anything. But he's, he loves baseball, so it's fun. I said something fun in the off season. <clears throat> you said weddings. I actually have a thing about weddings. I always feel like, unless it's family or something close, I feel like weddings are they can be torturous sometimes because it's so long and... You don't get to eat. You, you enjoy going to weddings. There's more about who's getting married. Um, I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, I think when you get married, it's it's the longer mm. <laughs> process. Right. Pictures, uh, just just waiting. You don't eat. You're, you're catching up with everybody. But when you're just a guest at a wedding, I think it's great because you get to party and uh, have a nice meal on someone else's. Uh, <laughs> You got to be careful though. They, you have to have respect when they schedule weddings too. If you schedule like a wedding Sunday during football season, you know some people do that. You got to put some thought into it. Yeah, though, sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Right. Uh, but hey, that's hopefully it's somebody that you love and you want to support them. <laughs> you guys surprised everybody, which seems to happen every few years out of this ball club. Is it a little different this year? No one's going to sleep on you. Do you have higher expectations? Um, yeah, our goals our goals have shifted a little bit, I'd say, from last year to this. I mean, just from you know, the number of wins itself is tops in the league. So you want to do better than you did the year before. If we do better than we did last year, that means we're we're up there winning the division and, and looking at the title. So um, that's where I think our goals should be. But um, it's not going to happen overnight. You got to take it day by day. For somebody like you, who's pretty much a vet now, which sounds weird to say, you. Do things change in the offseason for you? Do you do you try to step back a little bit more and release? Or are you still working on a bunch of stuff? I've been pretty consistent throughout my career. You know, once the offseason starts, um, take a, a week or two off and then work out, get the body right. Um, then you start hitting around January usually. That's, that's the latest I'll wait. Um, you want to make sure your arm is in shape, your swing's in shape once you get here because Spring training isn't what it used to be. Spring training, uh, you need to come in here and compete right away and um, just set the tone early. Try to prep at least mentally, if not physically, for the Japan trip. That's kind of a weird thing to start out to that count, then back to the bay, then then you start. Is, is that a little weird for you to start out of the gate like that? <clears throat> yeah, it's different. I mean, it's um, they're real games that, that matter out there, so that's the, the main focus of of our ball club is knowing that these are two important games and it's going to be a fun experience for everybody especially uh, people who haven't been there before um, just to experience a different culture and um, we all know baseball is so big there and they love the Oakland A's uh, maybe not as much as the Mariners but, right uh, we want to we want to get two W's there big hobbies in the offseason that you do uh, it used to be golf mm -hmm. it's harder to get out there now with the kids but um, you know, we just enjoy um, getting outside, uh, the outdoors. We try and get to, to California getaways, Yosemite, uh, you know, just different places around the state we can drive to. Okay, I'm going to Yosemite this weekend with my little one. So anything you're, I, I imagine the waterfalls are going to be better this year than they were last year with all the water. Anything special you did there, half to them all that? This week, so there's still snow up there, I'm yeah. sure. So you can't get to Glacier Point, right. uh, which is the best view I've seen. But you got to go there in the summer. So uh, usually we just go to into the valley and find a nice open uh, patch of land. Yeah. Now the, maybe there'll be snow there and uh, just run around. Last thing, uh, we're taking kind of an informal poll. We asked the skipper this morning, uh, pitch count or uh, pitch clock. With some of the stuff they're introducing, you for that, against that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's necessary. I right. think that um, if you if you look at the mound visits being uh, shortened, that's a better way to um, help the pace of play if, if that's what they're worried about. I right. don't think pitch clock is good because you're putting more pressure on the pitcher, uh, and, and sometimes you need multiple signs. So especially right. nowadays, you need to make sure your signs are 
locked in and uh, they can't get your sign. So that's going to be a problem. Three batter minimum, I assume. You kind of feel the same way? Or? I mean, I think it'll help. It'll help our hitters. It'll help a guy like Olsen if, if a righty's in there and we sandwich him sure. between two righties and uh, they can't do that. But, um, you know, it also hurts other guys on our roster if they're lefty specialists or whatever and teams don't want to sign them now because of this new rule. Right. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it affects different guys if it is implemented. But the game is pretty good the way it is now, in my opinion. And then lastly, my guy Kyle and I have these, this argument. Would you be for or against the universal DH? I like it. I like, I've like. i been an AL guy my whole career, and um, when we go to you know the Giants' place for an interleague game, uh, the, the pitcher hitting, in my opinion, is not enough good hitting pitchers for it to you know, make the game more exciting. I think there's more guys who could benefit from you know a DH in both leagues. That's more jobs, so I think that would be better. So when we play this tomorrow morning, he's going to be dancing around because Bob Melvin gave me the lead because he was against it, and you just got on my other guy's side. See, I'm a I'm a National League guy with the DH and all that, so you, you just tied it up. Yeah, I mean, that's just my <laughs> opinion as a position guy. <laughs> it matters more than my opinion, trust me. Right. Thanks so much, and uh, good luck this season, Marcus. Thank you. You're listening to The Drive.